Old Major is addressing the meeting in the barn. He has told the animals they must rebel against the men who treat them like slaves. Now he warns them not to behave like men themselves. And among us animals, let there be perfect unity in the struggle. Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. Whatever goes upon four legs or has wings is a friend. And remember also that in fighting against man, we must never come to resemble him. No animal must ever live in a house or sleep in a bed or wear clothes or drink alcohol or smoke tobacco or touch money. Weak or strong, clever or simple, we are all brothers. No animal must ever kill any other animal. All animals are equal. Finally, comrades, I will tell you about something that I have long forgotten. Many years ago, when I was a little pig, my mother and the other sows used to sing an old song. Last night, the words came back to me in a dream. It is called Beasts of England. Old Major cleared his throat and began to sing. Beasts of England, beasts of Ireland, beasts of every land and clime, hearken to my joyful tidings of the golden future time. Soon or late the day is coming, tyrant man shall be overthrown, and the fruit Full fields of England shall be trod by beasts alone. The singing of this song caused the wildest excitement. Before Major had reached the end, the animals began singing it for themselves. The clever ones, such as the pigs and dogs, learned the entire song by heart within a few minutes. Rings shall vanish from our noses and the harness from our back. Bit and spur shall rust forever. Cruel whips no more shall crack. Peace of England, peace of Ireland, peace of... The whole farm sang Beasts of England in tremendous unison. The cows load it, the dogs wind it, the sheep bleated it, the horses whinnied it, the ducks quacked it. They sang it right through, five times in succession. The uproar awoke Mr Jones, who sprang out of bed. He seized the gun, which always stood in a corner of his bedroom, and shot into the darkness. The pellets buried themselves in the wall of the barn, and the meeting broke up hurriedly. Everyone fled to his own sleeping place. The birds jumped onto their perches. The animals settled down in the straw. The whole farm was asleep in a moment. <laughs>